Hello everybody, this is Mark from Cedar Creek Bottoms Farmstead with another Creepy Mountain Chat. Well today I'm down here in a different location. I'm down here on some family's property. Not far from Creepy Mountain. If you look right yonder, you can see one of the ridges from here. And when I leave, I get right out yonder on the main road. You can see the whole, some of the southern half of Creepy Mountain. field I usually typically sometimes come plant corn watermelons uh, used to farm a lot of this land around in here a lot of it's growed up now but uh, uh, hard to believe that right down there was a field a few years way back yonder but it is one reason I'm down here today just to see if any turkeys are moving around this is a private spot that I can come typically don't have to worry about somebody shooting at me so uh, I'm going to show you something that sister found, if it's still there. Um, she found a little black racer. He's right down here I was. And this, he's done crawled off. He may have crawled off. Maybe, hopefully he did. I had to end up throwing her in the truck because she wanting to drive him crazy. So, let's see if he's around here. He may have done took off. Yeah, I don't see him now. He may have got on out of him while he had a chance. I had to stop filming because she kept wanting to come through with him. And, uh, you know, I don't want to step on him either. I don't like him when he slapped me. Yeah, he's gone. That's good. That's good. He, I had to put her in the truck. Going to show that filming, but I had to get on to her because she just didn't want to listen. That hard-headedness and you know, she don't understand that we don't kill everything just to kill it, you know, because they have their good purposes. Uh, so, anyway, um, you just thought I'd give you some new terrain. I have only one time heard what I thought was a booger here on this property. There's a big hardwood swamp in here it runs back up yonder uh, a few years ago out down here one evening late uh, plowing corn is fine in fact I was uh, doing my side dressing plowing it for the last time it was up you know about knee high and cut the tractor off wasn't gonna carry the tractor home that day didn't feel like loading it on the trailer because it was right at dark and I heard a big pop you know come from down in yonder so uh sorry about moving the camera around so much so possible would knock don't know but i did hear that and it's not far from the mountain um uh, right through the woods here maybe three quarters of a mile you can cross the road and be in there toward creepy mountain so good possibility um out there's a big cow pasture and um used to be a cotton field when i was younger uh probably about a 70 80 acre cotton field now pasture so anyway um i'm supposed to meet up with my friend this saturday to talk about his encounter um one he had back in Coosa County during January, so hopefully we'll have that for you next Wednesday. Um, so hopefully the weather will be permitting. Also, we'll have our monthly fire pit night. I know for y'all this way off, that's hard to come to, but you know any of y'all that's fairly close, welcome to come. Starts at five, and it's not necessarily just Bigfoot. It's just about people getting together, socializing building a community uh same thing we need to do in the bigfoot community build a community uh but uh i mean we do talk bigfoot some because i do have some 
my friends that come that have encountered them and had you know stuff going with them so that we do talk a little bit about it but also we have just homesteaders come neighbors friends family just different people from different walks of life and get together and socialize so and i always enjoy it uh, i hope the weather holds for us uh, we'll see what is going to happen i'm going to set this on the truck and just let it be still a few minutes and Y'all bear with me a minute. Let's see if I can. There we go. There we go. We'll let it sit there a minute. One thing I wanted to talk about real quick is, and I appreciate all my, all our subscribers, new and old. Uh, I'm glad appreciate all the support support from the other channels support from our friends and family and whoever else that supports us um this was something that rebecca wanted to do more about our homesteading but also she did and some of my friends pushed me about sharing um our bigfoot experiences mine friends people that are willing for it to be shared to maybe where people learn from this maybe you learn something from our my encounter maybe you learn something from their encounter or stuff we done or and stuff um and i hope it helps people um that are having problems with them have maybe how to handle these problems um some of them i don't really know how to handle but uh maybe you know it will help some people uh i hope you enjoyed the video last week with uh miss pat and mr joe uh, been wanting to get them on video and i got a lot of other people i want to get on, on video uh laurie and janelle uh when i catch up back with them I, i'm gonna get them i got pat finally so i got some other people i gotta hit up and over time, I'm going to get some more people uh, because I want them to tell their own experience. I know a lot of times on these um, shows, it's hard to get into everything. Uh, but a lot of times, maybe just being one-on-one, -on -one, they can really, you know, tell you about it. So, uh, One thing I did want to cover is... Um, I don't mind people being skeptical. It's when they become a bully or they get ugly with it. That's when I start having an issue. I've dealt with a lot of people over the years that would start aggravating me about it. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. I agree. Um, if you want to be skeptical, that's fine. I'm not trying to make you believe in Bigfoot. I, I'm just putting this out to share my experiences and other people's experiences. But I will not tolerate people who are being ugly toward witnesses or me or anybody else on this channel. Right now, we, we've got a great channel going. Everybody's respectful. Everybody's very nice. And I'm very happy with who we have. We have a good group of people. And what I mean by bullying, and y'all know what I'm talking about, you have these people that just get on and want to start trouble. It's one thing if you're going to be factual and have stuff to back yourself up with. Um, that's fine. But you ain't got to downgrade anybody. There's no call for it. Uh, that's one thing I'm worried about us as we get bigger. That I know I'm going to start facing more and more of that and I'm going to have to handle it. But I'll handle it on an individual basis. Because I, I've had some good friends that's very skeptical. Still are today. But also they respect me about it. They'll tell you, well Mark, I know you've seen something. I know you've had something going on. I just don't believe it's Bigfoot okay you know i've had friends who've 
went with me and become believers pretty quick. Hey, 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 you know, they, you ain't kidding, they ain't something here. You know, and then, you know, I've had co-workers um, that, you know, want to rag me a little bit. And don't get me wrong, if it's just fun, I have no issue with it. I'll laugh and cut up back with you quick on it. Uh, one of my favorite slogans, I know this is going to sound ugly, but I said, when you want to go get stump broke. <laughs> so, <laughs> that gets a lot of people's attention. I know that's ugly sounding, but but like I tell people, we'll go. We won't build a fire, no firearms. We'll sit there in the pitch black dark. Ain't being ugly. That's the only way you're going to have some stuff happen, you know. And a lot of times, stuff happened. Had some go that didn't doubt me, but also they didn't really believe till one walked across the road in front of them. Uh, it changed them. You know, but, you know, they saying I wasn't kidding, you know, so. So long as this nice criticism or nice, skeptic, you know, being skeptical, I have no issue with it. But when you become a bully with it, I'm going to block you. And I'm going to be watching for you to come up under another name again. So um, everybody on my channel or our channel, y'all's channel. Really, it's y'all's channel. Y'all the ones listening. I'm just the one talking. Um, you know, be respectful. Get along. Love one another. You're going to hear me preach that a lot. Love one another. Be positive. You know, a lot of people, we're here in the Bigfoot world, there's a lot of disagreements on everything. That's fine. We do need to come together with the base, though. I mean, Spencer's talked about that, and he's correct. We all need to have a baseline and maybe learn from it. Maybe we'll get along a lot, you know, get a lot further in this subject. Um, so I'm not going to beat the bushes on this too much. Uh, just if you come watch our videos and you don't believe it, that's fine. Just... You know, if you're going to comment, comment nice. Um, you ain't got to leave something ugly. I mean, what do you get out of that? I mean, what do you really get out of that? I mean, I, I don't understand that. Um, like I said, I went, you know, and I tell everybody I interview, I said, be ready. Be ready, because you might have one pop up that's going to be ugly. So, um, anyway, that's enough on that subject. And this is going to be a short video today. I didn't want to, uh, you know, there's not much going on in the Bigfoot world that I know of right now. Uh, Spencer had on a good uh, guest yesterday, Mr. Joe Pass, the, sass, the, the squatching cowboy. Get my tongue tied, untied. Uh, I didn't realize that was who was with Joe and Pat at that time down at Flat Rock. So that's very nice to know. I went and subscribed to his channel and started watching some of his stuff. Seems like a very nice guy. Hope to meet him one day. Seems like a genuine down-to-earth pe person. Uh, last few weeks, I've met some very nice, genuine, down-to-earth people. Uh, so... Um, so if any of everything comes out of this Bigfoot, and if nothing else comes out of it, I've made friends in different parts of the country. So, and that's worth a, it's weight in gold right there. Um, this here, um, can't think of anything that's ever went on here but one time on this piece of property I may have heard a wood knock late one evening when I was plowing corn laying the corn by what that means is it's done to the point where you can't hardly plow it no more and I was putting my nitrogen to it right at dark shut the tractor off um, was getting ready to get in the truck and heard a big pow come from down in there it's a hardwood swamp it runs back toward the hunt club so I don't know if I told that a while ago or not. I may be done 
camera back. I may have to edit this little part out for me. Um, do miss uh, being able not to go out to Oklahoma and uh, you know Texas, Arkansas the last few weeks. Been enjoy would have been enjoyable to go out there, but it's hard to make everything. If any of y'all got any sightings, encounters you want to talk about, <clears throat> you know my email. Or if you want to ask questions about homestead, you know, we got our City Creek Bottoms Facebook page, or you can message, you know, our, uh, uh, you know, emails. Or you can message me on Messenger. Some of you have my phone number, so you can text me. Um, if anything you'd like me to go look at a different place, uh, got some other places I gotta go. Of course, I'm gonna get be back up on Creeping Mountain. Uh, of course, turkey season's in, so gotta kind of, kind of watch what I'm doing up there on that. You know, right now don't want to upset nobody hunting. So, uh, so may ride up there this weekend, check out everything. May come down here, like I said. Saturday and see if I hear a turkey gobble back here. Anyway, um, hope everybody has a good week. Uh, Y'all be praying for the folks in Mississippi, North Alabama, parts of Tennessee, uh, Georgia. These storms really wreaked havoc here in the deep south this past weekend. Uh, some deaths, a lot of damage all parts of the deep south uh, we had flooding this morning uh, just unbearable weather uh, so y'all keep everybody in prayer uh, y'all keep everybody in prayer uh, in the bigfoot world that's been sick you know with kumbo and uh, jeff townsend and chris reinhardt had his eye surgery i think chris is supposed to be back out this week with a a tribute to uh, Mr. Taylor, so y'all go support him, and uh, y'all remember everybody in prayer. Uh, y'all remember everybody we support. Uh, Spencer and Misty with Woods Walkers. They got a Facebook page now too, so go check that out. Uh, Misty and her family with Southern Appalachian Sasquatch Seekers Facebook. Y'all go, go over and check her out. If you got pictures or something, send them to her. Same with Spencer and them. Um, Chris Reinhardt with Scubby Sasquatch. Uh, Kyle Conley with Encrypted Connections. Uh, Lori, Lauren with Night Callers. I'm always used to saying Lori, Lori too. Um, and then Mr. Barton Nunley with uh, in humanoids and hell and holler and uh, the sca the squatching cowboy um, and of course our homesteaders that we watch deep south perma pastures uh, the holler homestead and there's a lot more uh, and there's some just Facebook pages out there y'all check out uh, uh, this dedicated to Bigfoot. Um, some other good ones Sasquatch Theory I watch it some uh, Black Mass Paranormal he's on YouTube up in Tennessee I watch him some and there's some others I watch here and there it's just hard to get to them all um, and there's some more homesteaders out there it's good I'm just naming a few uh, it's hard to just name them all I can't remember them all at one time so um uh, Anyway, I'm going to get off here. When I pull out in the highway, I'm going to show you the southern part of the hunting club. A pretty good view of the southern end of it over here, or the south side of it. Get on toward the house and um, get ready to order a radiator for a tractor. Uh, I'll tell you what, just one thing after another, but that's the way life is. Well, like I said, always remember, 
all the cards are on the table each card represents something and be positive love one another get along and the other thing grow food and pray faithfully every day this is Mark from Cedar Creek Bottoms with another farm side farmstead creepy mountain chat talk with you later bye bye okay y'all you can see the hills on the southern side of the hunting club some of y'all have been here before you'll this is the way you go in from this southern side so there you go just want to show y'all a little bit how that looked and of course where i'm at now used to be part of old plantation way back yonder when i went up there against the foot of the mountain so just thought y'all might want to see the southern side of the club hope y'all can make it out pretty good i don't know if i can blow it up anymore there we go but you can see it up through there see you can see that one peak through yonder that's on the east side in yonder way in there so sitting somebody's driveway you know, Ken folks neighbor boy well, maybe they won't get too uptight about it anyway just gonna show you that well I'll talk with y'all later bye bye